the two hardest habits to break in medicine or, or in all of reality and all of life are number one, nicotine addiction, and number two, food and calories. And let's talk about why. So nicotine is the most addicting substance known to man. It is harder to quit smoking than it is to stop using painkillers, alcohol, drugs, um, cocaine, uh, heroin, painkillers, almost any other substance known to man. Nicotine is the single hardest substance to stop. I mean, we've had people who've been smoking for years and they're so addicted to nicotine. Um, then you have someone who just smoked for 10, 15 minutes or a week or two, and they're addicted to it too. The, the, the things that it does to your mind with the nicotinic receptors in the brain and the other body parts, it keeps you so, so, so addicted. And I have another lecture on how to stop nicotine and how to stop smoking. Um, I don't like using patches or gums or uh, other ways of quitting nicotine because it just kind of keeps you addicted to nicotine and lots of times it's only a matter of time before you go back to smoking. So I try to avoid those, but if it works for you and that's the only way that it's ever worked for you, then please use it. There are really no absolutes when it comes to this. Um, the other addiction is food. Food releases endorphins and a lot of times people use this as an antidepressant or to medicate themselves or they just enjoy food. They may not, you might not have any uh, psychological problems at all, but you like food. You're a foodie. You're a food snob. You like cooking great food. You like eating it. You like enjoying it. Um, so it's not a bad thing um, to enjoy and like food. You can like food. And the biggest struggle with food is to try to get people to actually eat within their calorie uh, limits. Um, you can make that homemade pizza or that homemade pistachio mango ice cream or whatever it is you crave and like or, or you want to go out and buy. Um, but the key is to have those first few bites or, or have, a, have one slice or you know, a couple of tablespoons and then push it away. Um, the, the endorphins and the taste and the crunch and the flavor and all of that, the law of diminishing returns kicks in. The first few bites and tastes and slices are great. There's not that much more additional utility. Sorry to get all economics on you, but I studied economics in college. There's not that much more utility or benefit or a good feeling from eating the 15th cheeseburger or the 12th slice of pizza or the fifth, fifth tablespoon of ice cream, whatever it might be. Um, so please just have that first few bites or whatever it is. Enjoy that taste, the feeling, the sensation, the endorphins get released and then push the rest of it away or save it for tomorrow. Um, but those are the two hardest habits to break. And those are the two worst things for heart, cardiovascular heart disease. The number one worst risk factor which increases your rate of mortality, cardiovascular mortality 20 times is smoking. Number two is uh, not being at your ideal body weight or obesity. There's a reason why we call some, some types of obesity morbid obesity because it contributes to your mortality and morbidity. You will actually die uh, from these two things. So I know I talk to people about this all the time. You have to find a way to quit smoking and you have to find a way to get your body weight down and get leaner. Hope you enjoyed this video.